The car selection allows you to set options specific to your car as well as an area to keep track of your certifications and license information for up to four cars. You can select which car you want to edit by clicking on a car in the Select a Car drop-down list. If there is only a number, it means the car has yet to be set up and you can do so by selecting it and changing the car name. The first section is the prediction information because you are more likely to change this on a regular basis. You can easily change your track length and your default prediction formula. All of the formulas listed here can be edited by going to Predict, expanding the tab, and selecting the Advanced button. If you change from quarter to eighth, we recommend clearing the prediction database for the best results. If you'd like to see what runs are in your prediction database, simply click on Predict and expand the tab. There you should see a table of all the runs in your database. In the Setup Info section, the first option is Car Name and can be anything from your car number with or without the hashtag or a word like Camaro or Dragster. This name is what will be displayed on the car drop down in the top left corner and on the Predict tab names, so try not to make it too long. Next is the Fuel Type. This is primarily used in our different ET prediction methods and if for some reason you don't see your Fuel Type, feel free to reach out to us and we can add it. The logbook color is an extremely important and useful feature. You'll notice at the top of each widget, the background is the same color as the one selected. And if you have runs in your logbook, you'll notice the same color runs along the top of the logbook every time. The idea is to assign each car a unique color so you can instantly recognize whether you are looking at your car or a teammate's. The logbook view and add run are where we decide what order we want our variables to be in. Because we have broken these two apart, it allows you to really customize and tweak your add run view so that you can add all of your data after a pass as quickly and as easily as possible. And we recognize that we want to have a lot of different options for viewing our logbook data. We can have a view that focuses specifically on launch. We can have one that focuses on only the most important variables. The options are limitless and it can't hurt to try creating new categories and new views to make you digest and comprehend the data better. Finally, we have the Tech Info section. This area allows you to keep track of all the things you need to input into your tech cards. Chassis certs, seat belt expirations, IHRA memberships, and anything else you would like. Simply type the name in, like safety belts into the name field and the expiration date like 623 into the value field. When you're done, click on Add New Tech Info and it will save it to your Tech Info area above. If you have any other questions, check out our FAQ to the left or go to our website, computech.com, for more content.